Is it time to buy or sell Brown & Brown stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Brown & Brown. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, 25th June, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 26, 2024, our system has ranked Brown & Brown as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.18. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 11.88% since we first listed Brown & Brown as a buy candidate 41 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.29% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 11.31% change over the next three months with a possible return between 6.69% and 14.18%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 32.41% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 16.60% and 35.73%. This translates to a price range of $106.27 to $123.71 after a year. Our latest daily update for Brown & Brown includes the headline, Brown & Brown Inc. stock price down 2.36% on Tuesday. The Brown & Brown Inc. stock price fell by negative 2.36% on the last day, Tuesday, 25th, June 2024, from $93.34 to $91.14. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 2.56% from a day low at $91.12 to a day high of $93.45. The price has risen in seven of the last 10 days and is up by 1.67% over the past two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by negative 401,000 shares and in total, 698,000 shares were bought and sold for approximately $63.59 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $93.75, and the lowest price was $66.23. Currently, the price is 2.78%, or $2.61, below the 52-week high of $93.75, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, May 30, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave BRO a buy grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, May 22, 2024, it was reported that Bank of America Securities gave BRO a neutral grade with an upgrade action. On Friday, May 3, 2024, it was reported that Keefe, Briette, and Woods gave BRO an underperform grade with a hold action. On Monday, April 29, 2024, it was reported that Jefferies gave BRO a hold grade with a hold action. On Monday, April 15, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave BRO a buy grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Brown & Brown stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Brown & Brown. The Brown & Brown Inc. stock 
holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, there is a general buy signal in the stock, giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $92.13. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $89.29. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MSD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, June 24, 2024, and so far it has fallen negative 2.36%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day, and this reduces the overall risk, as volume should follow the price movements. The stock had a golden star signal on Tuesday, January 9, 2024 in the long-term chart. Golden star signal is when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special combination. This combination is very rare and often followed by long and strong gains for the stock in question. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, sell signal two days ago. Bollinger, buy signal two days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal two days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 36 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 33 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal 20 days ago, the long-term moving average, buy signal 118 days ago, the relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 109 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Brown & Brown. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $86.32 and $85.51. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Brown & Brown Inc. finds support just below today's level at $86.32. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $85.51 and $81.54. This stock is usually traded at a good volume and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $2.33, 2.56% between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.50%. Before we dive into the potential favorable trading levels for Brown & Brown, let's quickly go over some key fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This important ratio measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively typical P-E ratio, often observed in companies with extensive track records or consistent revenues. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q2 2024 is anticipated on the 22nd of July, 2024. Analyst consensus estimates stand at 87 cents. It's important to monitor these figures as they could significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Brown & Brown. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Brown & Brown is at $91.16. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Brown & Brown encounters its first support level at $86.32. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. 
The combined average rating for Brown & Brown from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On 2024, June 7th, Turpin Julie conducted an insider sell of 3,350 shares of common stock, 10 cents par value. On 2024, May 8th, Masohata Bronislaw Edmund conducted an insider buy of 1,407 shares of common stock, 10 cents par value. On 2024, May 8th, Hunt James S. conducted an insider buy of 1,407 shares of common stock, 10 cents par value. On 2024, May 8th, Proctor H. Palmer Jr. conducted an insider buy of 1,407 shares of common stock, 10 cents par value. On 2024, May 8th, Varner Chilton D. conducted an insider buy of 1,407 shares of common stock, 10 cents par value. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 68.522. Overall, insiders purchased 429,715 shares and sold 1,878,283 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $87.54, negative 3.95%. This stock has low daily movements, which results in low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 18 days ago. Is Brown & Brown stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive, and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Brown & Brown Inc. stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, June 26, we expect Brown & Brown to open up 76.3 cents and start trading at $91.90. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day. With regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.